Second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Citizen input, I take it everyone here as far as the agenda item. Go to a new business. Request for special use permit to operate a home occupation at 81 South 6th Street. Located in an R2 residential district, the nature of the home occupation is heating and cooling business. Jason, do you want to take the podium and address the board? Um, we have a heating and cooling business, as you know, for about 10 years um, before we, we had our business over on Weiler Street for about a year and a half. Before that, for about eight years, we had it at our house, and we're just relocating back to our home is what we're doing. Basically, it's just a home office. I do all my work, basically, at other people's homes. So um, I've got a little shop set up out back where I do my shooting out of work and that. Um, I've got another place um, out in the county where I keep my scrap so nothing will be coming back to the, to the shop here. Um, the only other change compared to how it was before is I like to put up a sign um, as you pull in through my driveway. I just want to put up a sign on my little shed there so people know where I'm at because it's kind of hard to find back on that street back What's there. What's the restriction so, on the two by two? Um, no. I'm sorry? I believe it's five square feet. Yeah, R2 is five square feet. I'll do the next. Let's do the next one. Hmm? Go to the next page. R2. R2, okay. <laughs> yes, ma'am. When you say a sign at your driveway, where do you mean? Um, not at the driveway, because where our street is, if you come down Market, um, we live right there at 6th Street. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's well, the alleyway before that? Um, as you pull up that alleyway, I've got a shed there in my driveway, and that's where I wanted to put the sign. So once somebody comes back through that alleyway, they know what house to go to. So you, it won't be on Market Street. It's actually going to be back on our... Does that lane have a name? No. No, that's a legal road easement. It's what? An illegal. I, it's not an illegal. It's an... Sorry. It is a legal road easement. Okay. But it's not the 6th Street it's not, side. No, that's not 6th Street side behind it. There. You're speaking of between you and the other house, or between, um, um, oh, what's her name? Dawn. Dawn, yeah. Dawn Bach and the other? Richard um, Lomack. No, there's one other. Aikens. Yeah. Between yeah. your property and the Aikens, the, the roadway that goes between there, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's, that's an amazement. Mr. Chairman. Why, uh, why do you want to pursue a special use permit and run your business in a residential area as opposed to having a commercial to be set up in a commercial area? Well, um, I said when we first started out, we did it that way. We had the special use permit. We ran out of our home. Uh, we moved it to a different location, and financially, it just it didn't work out. Um, your your previous special use permit. The way I read it, maybe I missed something. It was just for an office. Is that correct? It didn't list any shop activities. That's the way I read it also. Yeah, so so before it was just for an office, but now you're actually going to do some some shop work? Well, it's just a, it's a 10 by 20 shed is all it is. Uh, basically, just have a, a little break in there and a few materials. The rest of all my material is at a storage shed. So that's where I keep everything. I, um, can, I can certainly see two sides of, of this of the coin in my mind. Uh, operating a business out of your home, of course, your overhead's lower, right? It makes you more right. competitive. Right. Um, but on the other side of that coin are the other people that are in your same business that operate out of commercial 
buildings and storefronts and their overhead is higher. Right. So it depends. I mean, if they've been in business since the thirties, the building's probably already paid for. So I mean, well, but I'm, I, I, that, that's really and, a little bit more. I'm, as in general, mm -hmm. when I think about uh, whether or not we should consider uh, a business to be operated out of a home, uh, there are certain all kinds of businesses, right? But sure. In, in this particular case, um, I can think of at least one other uh, person that's in your line of business that operates at, kind of out of their home and shop behind their house. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've got a couple uh, storefront heating and businesses here in town. So uh, that just, that yeah, just that pulls at me both ways because I've been on both sides of that fence. I've been where you are right now. Mm -hmm. uh, wanting to and then running a small business out of my home because that's the only way I can get my feet on the ground to be competitive. Right. And I've been and had storefront businesses and I see the other guy who I used to be as someone having a unfair advantage. I don't think it's unfair. Um, I think it's a matter of choice. I mean, if you want to have a big storefront, you know, and have this big shop, then that's, that's totally their prerogative. Um, but I don't see why what anybody else does, why it should affect what I do. I mean, if you can look at it, it's unfair, but I don't well, see I, I it just, I'm just looking at a competitive uh, environment. That's yeah, I'm just, I'm just decreasing my overhead because when we had that, that store, we were looking to have more of a storefront selling things out of the store to pay for it. And it just it doesn't work that way. I mean, people have their set places where they go get their filters and whatever. It just it didn't work out. Um, so that's what we decided just to move back home. Basically, really at the house, it's my wife runs the office. That's really about it. I mean, I've got a little shop back there that I work on my motorcycles and whatever else on. If I need to bend something up, I do it in there. But everything else isn't even there. It's in a storage shed. This is where I keep all my, my material and everything. So, And all my tools and everything in my van. I mean, 90% of what I do is at somebody else's house, you know, or their business or whatever. I certainly... Uh understand what you're saying and I appreciate that. I guess I'm thinking in broader terms uh, for this for this board as, as when we consider home businesses um, what that does to the competitive nature of whatever products or services are being sold or, or right. See the problem we had at the at the office was people would come in and pay their bills every once in a while. Mostly it's by check or they get a credit card over the phone. We didn't have any traffic. So, I mean, it was a nice place. We had a nice office, a nice shop to work out of, but the overhead, it just it wasn't worth it. So I said I did it out of my house for eight years. I'm just going to do that again. And you're comfortable that you'll never have an employee? I've had employees in the past. In the special use permit, it states pretty clearly that there will be no other employees. Right. So what if, what if you get busy and you have to hire a helper, then you'll be out of compliance with your special use permit. Gotcha. Well, I don't see that because I've been. I mean, down I hope you do. Yeah. I hope you, you know. Well, everything goes I, I, right. I've been down that road. Yeah, you know, when I first started, I had four guys, and you know, and I had one guy for almost four years. And I've, I've been down that road. I've been by myself for, I'd say, probably three years now, and I prefer it that way, honest with you. So yeah. that's what we actually. We're, that's what we're doing. We're we're kind of downsizing is what we're doing. Um, Fair it's enough. just it's not because before I would travel to St. Louis to my old customers up there. You know, all over the place. And now, all my business is right here in St. Jan. You know, we've been doing it for almost 10 years now, and I don't have to go anywhere else now. I've got enough business here, but not enough to where I want, where I don't want people working for me. It's, that, it's just an extra overhead. Okay. So, sure. I don't think it's going to be an issue. Um, I got contacted by a, a couple people in regards to this. Um, mainly, the first time you came before us, it was a, I guess, a six-month special use permit to allow you to get on your feet, and then you were going to open your storefront and all that, and now you're going back to the other. The, the concerns that have been brought to me are that, and it's not just with your business, it's with all the special use permits for these home-based businesses, that people that are already established with storefronts, they're paying commercial property taxes, and all that stuff. What's to keep them from closing up their business? We're losing out on that commercial property tax. They would like to see 
uh, <clears throat> these special use permit businesses, when it's a full-time business running commercial business out of their home, that their property gets assessed a commercial property tax instead of paying their regular home rate. Um, you know, it, it, if it's their primary business, their their concern was that it shouldn't be run out of the home. Now, if you're, let's, I'm going to use just as an example, let's say your main job is working at the lime kill, and now you come home, you repair lawnmowers or something. That's more of a hobby-based business. It's not your main income. It would fall under, or should fall under a special use permit for something like that. But their concern was when it's your main bread and butter, it's it's not a hobby-based business. It's your main business. They should be subject to a commercial tax. Well, and I think that's that, that's the few questions are. Yeah, I think that it. I really, I mean, to be honest with you, I have to think it has nothing to do with commercial tax. It has nothing to do with that. It's all about they don't want the competition. Is what it is. I mean, they, yeah, they've been in business for so many years or whatever. They don't want somebody else coming in and starting up another business because it's too much competition. That's what it boils down to. It's nothing to do with the commercial property tax or whatever. I still pay the insurance. You know, I've got all the rest of the overhead that everybody else has besides the rent on a building. Well, the property tax you know. is direct income to the city. Mm -hmm. That's really, I don't care about your insurance. But well, I'm just talking like about you know, the overhead. Can, it's, the, the, the overhead can, you know, what, the what, what the other companies are talking about, you know, they're saying it's unfair because I don't have the overhead they do. It's not my fault. It's not my fault that I have a van that's paid for. I don't have five or six vans I'm paying for. You know, it's not my fault that they've got this huge building they have to pay for every month. That's their prerogative. That's what they want to do, then they can do that. You know, there's a lot of home-based businesses around here. And you know, I, just, I don't see the problem with it, really. I mean, I'm not disturbing anybody back there. You know, it's not like I'm out there at midnight banging on metal. What I do, I say, is at other people's houses. We're just running a home office. That's all we're doing. And I just want to put up a little signs when people come to pay the bills and know where to go. That's all it comes down to. Kathy? I think we, ha we as the commission have to be consistent. And bearing in mind that you are in the historic district and about seven and a half feet away from the oldest cemetery west of the Mississippi, that even if the sign is at the on his shed where he just said he's going to be doing things. I, I think there's too many inconsistencies. We had a situation with a, somebody selling cars and a sign in the historic district, and I think we, we need to enforce the regulations that we're here to enforce in a consistent manner. Well, signs do have to be approved by the Landmarks Commission if they're within the district. So it will go before them, the board's permit. I understand that, but it, it, the last time there was a, a situation like this, it didn't go to landmarks because it didn't leave this commission. And, oh, okay. yeah, that, they were talking that at that time that that about a, a, real big a three by five sign. So that'd be fifteen. That would be three times the size. Times the size, but it's still of, a, of the sign that you right. But it's put still up. a yeah, sign, a yeah, commercial sign, sign. I'm torn. I'm done. Yeah. My person's going to see it. It's me. I, I give my property joins his property right. in the middle of that road up there. I think about where it is. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. it's, you can't see it from the street or anything. No. It's just that easy. Have you moved out of your yes. business? Mm -hmm. And so now you're walking out of your home yes. now? Yes. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been doing that? Uh, I guess we've been out there for a month. November 10th. November 10th. Just when you go. I'm sorry, I didn't hear your answer. November 10th is when we moved out. And that's when we applied for, for the special use. Now before when I got my special use permit, it wasn't a temporary six month to move into a building like you were saying. Um, what it was is I was renting my house at the time. And the guy who owned it didn't want me to run a business out of it. Um, and that's why they gave me six months to get the house straightened out right in my name, and that's what we did. So it had nothing to do with moving into another another facility. Are you? Well, I, I mean, I think you might have mentioned that that was your future hopes or something. I just remember it being mentioned. I wasn't 
Yeah, that's, that's been <laughs> nine years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I said I want to keep doing business, you know. I like to stay right here and say, I said, yeah, we've got plenty of customers, we're plenty busy, and I want to stay right here in St. Jan. Is there any uh, sales tax collected for the city as far as any stuff you sell? No. No. Probably if I always wanted a back end. Service business don't have to do that. Well, if you sell somebody a water heater, you got to pay sales tax on the water heater. I just pay not, sales tax. Just not on the service and installation. You right. say it on where you buy it at. Mm -hmm. Right. So that money doesn't come to St. Jack. It comes to St. Jack because I buy it here. You buy it here? Mm -hmm. yeah, I buy most of my materials. The only thing that really comes out of town is my equipment, like my air conditioners and furnaces. Um, other than that, you know, like my sheet metal, other than that, all my parts, I go to A&K and I go to town to do it. I, I shop right here in town and I pay more for it, but it keeps the money right here. You said as far as the large items, they come from out of town. My furnace is an air conditioner, yeah, I do American Standard equipment. Do you have any uh, feedback from neighbors? Mr. Edward, do you want to address the board with anything? Oh, I'm just being nice with them. Is that going to affect our property taxes, any or anything like that? Did it before? Has it before? No, uh -uh. no, I, but if to change it in from a business to a business, is that going to make our property tax go up? He's, he's, not uh, getting, he's not getting rezoned, he's getting a special use permit for a, a length of time. Oh, is that so, what it is? Yeah. Oh, okay, I thought it was rezoning. No. Mm -hmm. well, well, who would determine as far as a commercial <coughs> process? Assessor's office. Because I know there have been some daycares in the community that had partially commercial property. They're paying partial commercial on their, like a portion of their bill. You know, that's like, it's quite a bit more than it residential. Mm -hmm. Not a tremendous amount, but it's more. And so there's a precedent for that then also. Yeah, it's not, not our call. I think it has to go through the assessment. Anyway. Brenda, have you heard from any of the property owners? None? When you're right next door, sir? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, his property, he's got that field right yeah. next to me. Yeah, mm -hmm. We're a ring wall use of Oh, okay. Yeah. My property's L shaped and he's over and needs his. Right. Mm -hmm. That's as far as the property, no, nothing's going to change. I mean, um, my wife runs the office out of the house. That's really the biggest change, other than that. Mm -hmm. Any other questions, comments? Maybe you want to say something earlier? He answered it, and I was just commenting that we, it would be pointless for us to continue having the shop because we don't sell anything out of it. We don't do retail. Well, right, we tried retail. I just sat there by myself all day. Yeah, it was, it was nice to have an office and have the shop. But it wasn't paying for itself, so we tried it for almost two years. Well, you know, this to maintain some to maintain consistency. Uh, in, the, in this board, other home-based businesses have been approved for special use permits. Um, no impact on traffic, no negative neighbor comments or, or neighbor concerns. Um, fire, the, the, chief of, the fire chief is, is happy. He doesn't see any, any potential problems. Um, uh, I'm, I'm just I'm just really uh, concerned with continuing to allow home.
based businesses in residential areas. But at the same time, I think this is what we've done or what this board, this board has done in the past and I, and I don't see any reason uh, for consistency's sake to, to, to uh, be against this. Uh, the sign is an issue um, uh, being in the historic district is an issue to me. Um, and I don't know how we, I don't know how we uh, address that um, moving forward. But at, at this time, I, I would like to, uh, to make a motion if there's no further discussion. I just had a real quick question. I don't see anything from the police chief. I see the no, fire chief. He's going to sit with him. He has not called him. I mean, he approved it last time. I wouldn't right. see why there would be any change. I just wanted to get anything. Um, um, if I may, I'd like to advise the board that there are stipulations on which you need to make your decision based on. That is um, spelled out under the special use regulations, and this is what you should consider based, basing your decision only yeah. upon this. Um, yes. If you have uh, issues with home-based businesses in residential areas, which they're only allowed in residential areas. Um, what page are you pointing in for oh, please? Page five. Um, that is something that we would need to take to the Board of Aldermen to um, amend the ordinance. And based uh, on those guidelines, I'd like to make a motion to approve. Can we do this, Dr. General first, on the conditions of use? Or the sign and then the uh, milk bar, the scrap metal, or other product or something? That's all in there, right? It's on, uh, I think this is probably. Does that need to be addressed separately? Is it already oh, covered? Do you need it? Yeah. I'm sorry, so that's. I think it's already covered there. Page four. I don't have numbers. Uh, under the criteria? Yeah, condition you use. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. And then, and then did you get a packet the, like that? Is this automatically subject to review after you? No, review? you have to specify if you want this oh, okay. automatic. Um, automatic is in uh, industrial zones. Oh, mm -hmm. So that's all part of it, right, Tom? Yeah, as far as I can tell. Yes. Yeah, that's all covered in there that you can't have any, you won't be storing any scrap metal outside, things right. like that. Right. Well, I said we did it for, you know, for over eight years before, and we didn't have any, any issues at all with our neighbors. Um, and he's always got to good and clean. Mm -hmm. I said I've got another area out in the county where I keep all my scrap. I've got another place where I keep all my, my materials and my supplies. We have a copy of your previous, your, your, previous uh, special use permit mm -hmm. and it's only for an office so okay. it's different this time okay we have a motion on the floor Tom do you want to put a review on that what's, or? what's proper Way to do that to amend the, the motion. Yeah, it has not been seconded, so you can okay. mention. Yes, I would like to. Uh, what's what's a reasonable time frame on uh, something like this? Two years? Is that a standard, Brenda? You can put anything you want on it. What what normally do you see? Yearly. Um, I've seen one every three years. I've seen one every, you know, every year. It just depends on the situation. I guess I'm, I'm okay with either one or two year uh, renewal. I, I think landmarks will take issue with your signage. And, uh, well, the signs all the way down Market Street. I mean, I don't, I don't see what the issue is with the sign. You can't, you, you won't even be able to see it from the from the street. It's still in the historic district. Right? It shouldn't be an issue, but it still has to go before that. And you never had one before. Right. So the, I would like to make the motion of approval with the uh, two-year uh, renewal. I have a motion. I'll second. Second. Do a roll call, please.
tokens? Uh, no. Kathy Waltz? No, basing my no on item number six of the special use regulations. Do you have a plan? Yeah. yeah. Tony Grass? And yes. That, that was the same for me, the reason. Number two and six, actually. What's number two and six? Uh, number two is adversely affect the character of the neighborhood. Uh, number six is to be in conflict with the comprehensive city plan. Are you aware of the housing in conflict? That was my next question. Because of its proximity to the cemetery in, in the historic district. But the cemetery is in my front yard, 10 feet away. My office is inside my house by the kitchen. People drive up, they come over to hand us a check, and they leave. And that's very rare, because usually they send it right in the mail. I understand what you're saying, but sure. my vote yes. is no. Tom Couch? Yes. Gary Rock? Yes. Buck Yokerst? Yes. I can't talk to him. So that is six eyes, two nays. Yes. Six yeses, two no's. It passes. Go to the board of aldermen. Um. January. January. January 9th. January 9th. Sounds good. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. We have any old business. Mm -hmm. Now we got other business. Oh, yeah. you got other business? Yeah. Okay. Good. Is there a list of special use permits? Is there a list? There's a file cabinet. <laughs> but I mean, there's a, is there like a master list? That there wasn't a file cabinet for it. <laughs> well, I mean, how like, we, since you've been here. How do we know when someone when somebody's use somebody's permit yeah. for reviews? Is that for review? Yeah. Well, I have no idea. Okay. Fair so enough. nothing um, There's only reviewed. two that I'm aware of it that were ongoing that had to be reviewed. And that was... Uh, well, I think a lot of them get the stipulation of a year mm -hmm. review. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every six but months, I have been someone. finding yeah, special use were. permit files downstairs in, in subdivision folders and... Well, I think this even been recently, if, correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. but I thought the, in the last three or four years we've seemed to have done several. Six months. Or six the months or a year. The Wiener. So. The Wiener. George Wiener. George Wiener's we were supposed to review in, review in six months, I thought. Yeah. George's was denied. Well, he wasn't denied. It was approved with stipulations by the Board of Aldermen, and he t refused to sign it. And so he does not have a special use permit. No. And then a couple um, of the other be... one that I'm aware of is the gun shop. Not the gun shop, but the gun sales no. in Hope Subdivision. Or oh, Rose Hughes Flower Shop, didn't that have a review? I'm not sure that had a year later. I, I think there were several. A couple of them we've talked about, like the wedding shop at the Jehovah's Witness Hall, that never materialized. Right. Uh, right. Yeah, the nail salon over at the old uh, Fowler property that yeah. never materialized. Uh, I mean, there's a bunch of them we approved, but they just never yeah. got off the ground. Okay. And the um, the gun dealer um, actually didn't begin till almost a year later. It was several months before. Was that up on hope. Yes. Okay. Before he got his all of his paperwork and everything from the state and got up and going. I will check so, on those. He said. So investors. Stipulation like Tom did tonight with the two year and it's in perpetuity, right? That's correct. Well, even like the one we did last month, that had a year, didn't it? Yeah, well, there's, mm -hmm. a, there's a time on it. I there's don't time remember time. what it was, well, but it was in a short time. Did we have a, a lady with yeah, the art thing on? Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. Fourth Street, I think that had a year, didn't it? Which yeah. one? The lady across the valley with the uh, multi um, arts thing. Suzanne Thompson. Yes. 
I, that should this be is, this was just uh, should be just about a year ago, I believe it was last December. So okay. I mean, I could have went either way, but you know, based off the phone calls I got, I, I mean. Well, I, I well, I got phone calls too, but he never called about any other home. Right. Yeah. No other home that was, that, until it was a competition of his. Absolutely competitive nature. And I and, 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 and I'm not totally far home businesses either, but this guy had it for eight years. I, I didn't see anything so that, that, that made a motion for you to go no. Make a motion to adjourn. You see that Any more new business? New moral business? New business? And this I got a motion for adjourn. Second. Second. <laughs> yeah, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. There's two seconds. I was over there today. There's not just one, there's two. This is a carbon copy of his first request, which was to let his wife sit at the kitchen table.